It's time for Ryan's Roses. It says, Dear Ryan, my husband's getting more and more distant. This has been happening for a few weeks now. He's always working, and when he's home, he's constantly on the phone. The other day, he didn't come home from work till 10 p.m. Am I really going to believe he was at work that whole time? But in the back of my mind, I kept telling myself that the holidays were coming, and I would get my husband back. But now he tells me he has to be out of town over Thanksgiving. Okay, now that's just, that's strange. We've heard this before, and usually it's a bad sign. Um, I feel like I'm losing him to someone else. By the way, the other thing here, just the psychology of it, Sissini, <laughs> if he is cheating, to not be there for Thanksgiving... It's like, come on. It's like saying, I want to be caught. I know. I mean, if you are, you got to make sure... I, I don't know. It, it, it just seems like a dumb idea. Wendy, thanks for coming on with this. I, I tell you, over the years, when we get close to the holidays, we hear stories like this, and it usually doesn't end well. What does he have to do for work over Thanksgiving? He says he has to go out of town for a business, some last-minute meeting. What does he do? He he works uh, at the port in an office. At the port in an office? Hmm. Is the port open on Thanksgiving Day? The port of Los I, Angeles? I feel like it would be, right? I, it is, but for whatever reason, they're sending him out of town. They have some sort of emergency meeting called. The port of Los Angeles has an emergency meeting outside of Los Angeles? Weird. Yeah, that's what I think. I think it's very weird. All right. Uh, how long have you been married to him? 11 years. And how many kids do you have? We have three. Okay. But he's been coming I, home late every night? Well, usually he's like very routine and very normal, but lately he has been coming home late, and the other night he came home after 10 o'clock. It doesn't make any sense at all. I don't know. I'm, I don't know the port schedule. It doesn't make any sense to me that he would have a meeting out of town. I know. For the port here in Long Beach. This is where you're talking about the port here, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And, and, and on Thanksgiving Day, it's just so not crazy. possible. Well, that's what I thought. And, 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 you know, we've always had such a good relationship. And I was hoping that in the holidays we could, you know, close that distance that's come between us. Yeah. And And then this came up and... I know he's working really hard to get in, you know, like a promotion and like he, he's working really hard and, and I get it and I don't want to, we've always been so good. Like, I mean, we've had our normal arguments and things like that and we've never had anything major and, and I'm, I'm just worried like my imagination is running away with me and that I'm losing him to somebody else. We're going to try to make a phone call here. I just need you to say, Ryan, you've my permission to call and then whatever his name is on KISS FM. Okay. Ryan, you have my permission to call, uh, uh, to call. On Kiss, on Kiss FM. FM. Okay, got it. All right, so we have that. Is that clear? We have that? Okay, good. Um, what we're going to do is Patty's out on maternity leave, so Sissy's going to fill in for Patty, and Sissy's going to call your husband and offer him some roses. We want to find out who he sends them to and then what he puts on the card, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to ask him, if, yeah. if, if, if we get him, I'm going to ask him to explain his port schedule to me. Yeah, and be really yeah. quiet when he responds. Okay, okay? Uh, yeah, d- make sure you don't jump in until we start talking to him okay very okay. important okay right. here we go you ready sis i'm ready hello hi may i speak to jeremy oh uh, this is him hi jeremy this is erica i'm actually calling from flowers and more how are you doing this morning oh uh, i'm okay how are you I'll make this real quick. Um, sorry to bother you. I'm just calling because you've been chosen to receive a free dozen roses. Free? Really? <laughs> yes. You, you can actually send them to whoever you want today. I don't need any billing information from you. These are totally free. Um, just whoever you want to send them to. And like, we can put a little quick note on that, and they'll get them this afternoon. Really? Like no credit cards or anything? I don't need any credit card information from you. I just need the person, like the name of the person you want to send them to and whatever address it's going to and then like a quick note. And then just obviously if they like them and you like them, just refer me to your friends and family for the holidays. Hmm. Sounds too good to be true. <laughs> I I guess it kind of does, but I'm, yeah, it's free okay, dozen roses. Uh, is, there any way, uh, is there any way you could deliver them on Thanksgiving? Deliver them on Thanksgiving? Um, yeah, I think we can, yeah, we can do that. Really? Oh, and, um, is there any way you could deliver them at kind of a specific time? Sure. What time? Uh, about 11 o'clock. In the morning? Yes. Okay. And who do you want to send to? Uh, I'm going to send them to my, my mother-in-law's house. 
Okay. Um, hold on, let me get the address. What's your name? Um, well, I want to make the card out to my wife. To your wife. And what's her name? Her name is Wendy. Wendy. And then what would you like to write on the note? Um, okay. On the note, I just want you to put, open the front door. Open the front door. Okay. And Jeremy, I'll, Jeremy, I'll, I'll, Jeremy, yeah. it's, it's Ryan Seacrest and Sissony. I need you to know your voice is being broadcast on the radio. And Hi. Wendy has asked us to give you a call. She's actually on the line now. Uh, listening to all of this, and she asked us to call you because she's concerned that you're not going to be around on Thanksgiving. Were you planning oh. a surprise for her? Well, I thought I was going to have to be out of town, but now I'm not, and I was going to surprise her, but I guess I guess oh, that's not going to happen now. Well, Jeremy, uh, why did you think you were going to have to be out of town? She told us you work for the port. The port's closed from what I see online on Thanksgiving, and she said you had a meeting out of town. What was that all about before? Well, you know, it's the crazy time of year with everything coming in for all the holiday shipments and stuff. And, um, you know, I, I thought there was a chance I wasn't going to be around. So, well, But that I, doesn't make any sense, yeah, to be closed. honest with you. What do you mean? Cra if it's closed, it's closed. And why are you going out of town to meet about the port that's in Long Beach? Oh, because I'm dealing with, you know, international people and shippers from all over the world. But I just... It sounds strange to have to be gone on Thanksgiving Day, Jeremy. That that part didn't add up to your wife. Well, Wendy, you can actually tell him why you were suspicious. Well, I, don't, I feel so silly now and so bad, but um, I was so worried because you've been working late hours, like till ten o'clock, and I was I. My imagination started getting the best of me, and it's not that you've ever done anything else, but I'm like, what could keep you away from your wife and kids? Because you're not like that. And I was hoping that the holidays we'd have time together. And then when you told me the other day that you'd be gone, I was just crushed. And oh God! Well, I'm so sorry. Well, I guess I have to tell you. You know, I was up for that big promotion, and um, and I didn't get it. And oh. I, and I didn't know how to tell you. And I've been really bummed out about the whole thing. And just kind of been staying at the office longer and I, I, I'm just down on myself and I just didn't know how to tell you all that. So I'm sorry, honey. Oh, honey, I, oh, I'm so sorry. It's so okay that you yeah. didn't get it. Um, I, hey, um, oh. hey, Jeremy. Yeah. And Wendy. Yeah. I'm still confused a little bit, but I, I look, it, it, it sounds like you guys are fine. I'm going to give you $500 from Ralph's for your Thanksgiving meal since you will be together. Oh, wow. Thank wow. you. All right. Wow. Thank you so much. Do we still get the flowers? or No, no flowers. There are no flowers. But I, I do feel like we owe you something. So I let know. me give you uh, so we'll take care of your Thanksgiving meal, okay? Oh, thank oh. you. That's really nice. Thank you so much. I feel so much better. <laughs> thank you. All right. Well, I'm, I'm glad you feel that way. We're going to let you both go, okay? All right. All right. Thank you. Oh, happy guys. Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Bye -bye. Thanksgiving. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you. We are bad people. <laughs> she called us or she emailed no, us. No, she did email us, but we are bad people. I mean, the guy, we just blew the guy's surprise. I know. Like, this is your influence. Me? Yeah. This would have happened with Ellen Kay. Oh, my god. This gosh. is your influence, isn't it? You told me to do the Ryan's Roses. I didn't tell you to be Erica. Why is All Patty of a sudden, pregnant? Erica. This is Patty's fault. Patty's out. <laughs> I, can't, I can't blame Patty. She's busy right now having a baby. But oh man! I st I gotta be honest with you. I I know that Wendy's content with all this. Something's weird. I believe him. Something's weird. He does not have to not be here on Thanksgiving. There's something not I know. totally adding up about the story. But I'm I believe him about the whole promotion thing. I don't. Being I don't know. That, I, I mean, may, we're bad people. But I don't know <laughs> that I. Sh I don't know. Is anybody else with me on this? I, 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 Tanya, what did you think? Well, I think that this guy obviously does not know about roses because he just didn't seem like. Upset. But maybe he did. Like maybe he did oh, know about roses. Oh, now you and just that's why he sent it. the. He, that's why he sent the flowers to his wife at his mother in law's, and then made up this story that he all of a sudden doesn't have to go out of town. Whoa, you think people whoa, are that whoa. tricky? Yeah, like, Brian, your brain. <laughs> uh, no, I just now you just I I'm with you. Now. I'm just saying to you. He seems like a sweet guy, and I love that he sent the flowers to the mother-in-law's door and says, hey, open it up. Here yeah. I am. But there's something weird about him being distant. The promotion thing, I don't necessarily – I don't 100% buy it. Okay.